15 years of working in interior design, I've worked on many types of projects, but none quite like a yacht remodel. Hi, I'm Dana Duquesne. My company is Yacht Decor. My mother started the company in 1978. I am a second generation yacht interior specialist. It is not quite the same as redesigning a home. There are a lot of considerations. Things move on a boat. Dana definitely has yacht design running through her veins. We get permission to come aboard and do her latest project on today's Soplo Home Project. Welcome to Soplo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. Homes come in all shapes and sizes and some even float. Today we're experiencing the best of life at sea aboard a beautiful yacht. Interior designer Dana Duquesne equipped this vessel with all the comforts of home. This is a 115 foot yacht. It has four staterooms, four heads, and two day heads. Think of it as a home away from home or a vacation home that can take you to exotic locations. We're here today with Dana Duquesne from Yacht Decor. She is a yacht designer and is going to be telling us all about this fabulous yacht that she designed for her clients. Dana, welcome to Soflo Home Project. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. I'm an interior designer as well, but I've never designed a yacht. And this is going to be a really exciting tour. Absolutely. It's fun. So we're here in the... The main salon. Which can also mean living room. The right? living room. Yes. And so that's the lingo of how we would describe this room. Correct. Correct. Tell us about what you did here in terms of the furnishings. This is a, a, actually a family vessel that gets used with the kids, the grandkids. Uh, so they wanted some very durable, long-wearing, long-lasting fabrics. In here we chose leather because easy to clean, yes. wipe it down, it'll, it'll last, it'll stand up to some wear and tear. So the swivel chairs, they're used often on boats for the simple fact that they swivel. These two here can swivel around and there are two more on the starboard side of the vessel. So that can create its own little conversation area. It's nice to be able to move your view, right? If you want to look out the aft window or the port or the starboard windows. Absolutely. Makes it very conversational and you Absolutely. have grouped little areas of seating, which is great yes. for entertaining, I'm sure. We did carpet throughout the vessel. The uh, client was very willing to let me have a little bit of fun and actually do some design. So I sent probably three sketches of different carpet layouts of how the blue would run through the space. And this is the one they chose. So I have an expert carpet installer who cut I the can pattern. See that, yep. this looks seamless. <laughs> yep. So yeah, so that was kind of the impetus for the design was, was the carpet. Keeping with fabrics, yes. I want to talk about the windows because there are some specifics for yacht design and window treatments. So very often you'll, you might see there's a channel carved into the sides that the wood lines sit in the track so that when the boat is underway, it doesn't, the shades don't move back and forth. So everything is pretty much secured. So there's so many little details. It looks beautiful and it seems like it would just be decorating a house, but there's so many more things to consider. It has to be functional. Well, Dana, this main salon is gorgeous, and it's just the start of our tour, and I can't wait to see more. Thank you. Coming up on Soflo Home Project, we check out the cool spaces Dana created for family meals. Have you ever lived inside a cave for several months? Well, this family feels like they have. We're going to show you the big, drastic change they're making in their home on today's Soflo Home Project. Welcome back to Soflo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we are joined today by Dana Duquesne from Yacht Decor, exploring this fabulous yacht. Thank you. So Dana, we're now here in the dining salon, similar to a dining room. We have several dining areas on this yacht, perfect for family meals while out at sea. So the dining table was existing. Again, sometimes when things are as beautiful as they are, there's no need to change them. 
However, the client did want the dining chairs to be reupholstered, so we did a two-tone treatment of the pattern on the seat, again, to minimize obvious spills or that sort of thing, and then the solid navy blue on the back. A gorgeous tie-in for the space. I love it brings the navies, it brings the creams, and some other light shades of blue. Thank you. And now we've got this great bar over here. Right, so again, bars are quite common on yachts, just because it tends to be a fun lifestyle. Yes. So for these bar stools, again, we went with the leather, and again, they swivel. So we have the swivel bar stools. When we redid the bar stools, we actually painted the legs. At the same time, nice finish. got rid of any scratches or dings or nicks. Um, so we filled everything, painted everything, and reupholstered. Sometimes a lot of them, when you're working in a yacht, the pieces are great, they're durable, and just doing these updates of the upholstery and the refinishing really just brings new life. Absolutely. Now, I want to go back to the dining table real quick. Okay. Uh, I noticed the light fixture here, and I wanted to talk about lighting selections on yachts. Oftentimes, people don't think about a chandelier in a yacht, chandeliers tend to swing. So we cannot have very many swingy thingies in the Nothing boat. Nothing dangling. Nothing dangling. So we're, we're somewhat limited, but with today's selection out there in the marketplace, there's plenty to pick from. Dana, it really takes a certain level of expertise to truly know what's appropriate to design and put into a yacht. Yes, it does. So speaking of experts, let's find out what our impact window and door specialist, Tack Granada from Florida Home Improvement Associates has for us today. So it's January 2020, and this family's had these shutters up since August 2019. So they've been living inside of this home with these shutters up on all these windows since August. So most families think about hurricane protection as it was related to impacts. Flying debris, hitting the space, hitting the glass, and causing the glass to break, and now the hurricane's into the home. For this family, what they recognized while the shutters were up uh, during the last fall was that the glass inside, wind was getting in between the shutter and the glass, and it was causing the glass to bow into the home, which was really scary for the family. And they were really, really concerned about the windows above because they had absolutely no protection from flying debris or the wind pressures associated with the storm. So we looked at a lot of different options. We showed them several different manufacturers a lot of different products and they chose a great product from custom window systems that's going to give them the safety and security that they're looking for and it's going to allow the natural sunlight to come into the home so I'm going to get out of the way let the crews get in here so they could see the finished product and the great decision they made It's always fun checking on installations once they've been completed. In this one, there is a significant difference from when I was here originally. When we were just starting the installation, they still had the shutters installed in the house, so it was so dark in this living room area that we actually had to film from the exterior just to get to see what we're trying to do. And now changing out the windows, it's opened up the space so much and it's really let so much natural light into the living room area and kitchen area. It feels completely different in here. So they love how this turned out cosmetically and it really makes a big difference from an energy efficient standpoint because we don't feel any of the heat coming in from the outside. It's really comfortable in here right now and there's so much natural light in this space. It turned out fantastic. Everything went perfectly here. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So Dana, this is the galley area of the yacht, right? This is the galley. And when I think of galley in terms of residential design, I'm thinking of a galley kitchen being more of a hallway type of very enclosed, narrow, yeah, narrow mm -hmm. kitchen, but this is such an expansive area yes. with additional seating. Yep. And this is another great dining space. Tell us about what you did here. Not everybody wants to change their stone. That's a big time and, and, and expense. So you're working with existing. So we're working with the existing stone. Just needed to update the settee. Again, very durable fabric. Lots of storage under here. Oh yeah. So storage is at a premium Wonderful. on a yacht. So times. everything removes everything. So everything come comes up. out. For example, the backs come out just like that. You can lift the seat cushion up, and there's storage so it's underneath. So all velcroed on. All velcroed on. Easy to fix. Easy to remove. Easy to reupholster. Re <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the big thing. And I love this fabric that you chose. It really ties in a lot of this existing granite so perfectly. Thank you. Now this table is also secured. Secured again because 
the boats move side to side. This is a very heavy top. Right. And because it's raised, the center of gravity is also raised. We certainly wouldn't want it to topple over. And we also redid the faux Romans here as well. I love that also kind of a nice coordinating wide stripe. Mm -hmm really nicely ties together and of course the seating area is so huge it just looks like a great place to enjoy a great meal. for family gathering and beautiful views no matter where you're yachting to right Absolutely. <laughs> next on SoFlo home project we take a look at this yacht's master stateroom Did you know that a flood in your home can lead to contaminated air? I'm Hunter Frankie, host of SoFlow Health in today for SoFlow Home Project, and fortunately, we have the solution for you, so follow me. This is one of Ace Restoration Services, and we're somewhere in Kendall today where this house looks like it had some damage. So tell me, what are we here to talk about today? Yes, actually, we're here to talk about duct cleaning, air duct cleaning. Mm -hmm. um, but. The reason why we're doing duct cleaning is because they had a pipe break in this home inside the wall. Right. And of course, in order to remediate it, we had to cut walls, right. which in turn creates dust and there's uh, contaminants in the air, which then we have to do air duct cleaning wow. in order to mitigate properly. So here, the pipe was uh, leaking and it was a minimal leak. He had water coming out of his tiles. We cut the walls, we did what's called uh, flood cuts. Right. And at the time of flood cuts, then we realized that the pipe was here. And this tiny pipe is what created all this damage all the way along here. Absolutely, I, I believe it was a couple days of, of it slowly leaking and then of course it caused uh, you know all, all the saturation throughout the, the bottom part of the home. Juan, this looks like one big bad piece of equipment. What is it and what does it do? Yes, so this is our HEPA air duct cleaner. Juan, in a case like this where you had to cut into the drywall, how does that affect the air? So what we did here, when we cut the drywall, that we did flood cuts, right. there was also insulation, there's dust, all that goes airborne. Right. And then of course, you know, your return from your AC picks all that up and throws it through your duct system. Right. Well, this bad boy right here, mm -hmm. our HEPA machine, yeah. helps us capture all that spore uh, that's in the ducts from mold, you know, uh, dust. Right. And it, it kind of captures it, spits it out clean. Right, so that way you have clean air circulating in your home, not uh, dirty air or dusty air or moldy air. Absolutely, like I said, who doesn't want clean air in their home? And what is the benefit to the homeowner for scrubbing the air ducts? Yes, this particular homeowner, he had called me because he had to keep taking Claritin, something right. he doesn't do on a daily basis. Right. And due to the dust and the mold spores in the air, uh, I told him that you know he's a good candidate for air duct cleaning and that would probably help him out with his allergies. So right. we came, we cleaned his ducts, right. and hopefully uh, you know that'll help him out. I believe it will. Juan, who is a good candidate for air duct cleaning? Well, air duct cleaning is very healthy for your home yes. uh, because you, you want clean air, mm -hmm. but everybody uh, should get their ducts cleaned about once every six months. Okay. If you have pets that live in your home because they shed hair, you should do it uh, approximately about three to four months. Right, so it's important if you had an issue in your home, but even if you haven't had an issue in your home recently, it's still a good idea to have your ducts clean. Absolutely, it's never a bad idea to clean your air in your home. Juan, thank you so much for your time and sharing such great information with us. If you at home are thinking about getting your air ducts clean, Juan, how can they get a hold of you? They can call our office at 786-732-2779 or they can reach us at the web at ace2restore.com. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. We're continuing our tour of this fabulous yacht designed by Dana Duquesne from Yacht Decor, and we are now in the lower deck, the master stateroom. Correct. The staterooms are located on the lower deck, and the master stateroom takes a prominent spot on this level. It's the most spacious and elegant of the sleeping quarters. So I wasn't expecting the staterooms to be as spacious as they are. I mean, there's even a seating area in here. Sometimes the master staterooms can be quite large and include a desk or a vanity area. Oh, wow. So it's, it's surprising what can, what can fit what into in. the space. Well, this is beautiful and I love the mix of textures and patterns incorporating the color palette. Thank you, thank you. From what I understand, staterooms very different than designing a, a residential bedroom. So some of the challenges are very rarely do you ever have a mattress that is off the shelf or standard size. 
This is a perfect example of a non-standard mattress clearly shown by the angles of the mattress. Clipped corners here are not something corners. you find in any mattress store. No, nor can you find sheets on the shelf that fit them. So we custom make every sheet, every mattress protector, every comforter. I want to talk about this bedding. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the fabric. So the palette just naturally flows with what we've done on the main deck. I was given the direction of pick something that would hide the sins. So Forgiving. if there's a spill, right, and you won't have to send it out to the dry cleaners once a week. It's a great fabric. Lovely fabric, and it also is a performance fabric. So indoor, outdoor, it's bleach cleanable, mold and mildew resistant. It has all those performance uh, qualities that we love in yachting. Yeah, so the fabrics really are important as well in terms of very, the very much so. I noticed there's a lot of storage underneath here. There's storage on both sides of the bed, typically drawers. Yes. Uh, occasionally, the whole mattress will hinge up oh, wow. and you can access storage that way. I want to talk a little bit about the carpeting because it, it's it has such a great thick padding, and we're barefoot here in a yacht. You don't wear shoes on board, and it's, it's such a soft carpet. Given the proximity of the engine to the staterooms, in places such as this, we'll use a product called Sound Down, which is a sound deadening. It also helps with vibration, vibration of the engine. Well worth the additional investment. Dana, as we were entering down the beautiful staircase, I couldn't help but notice the blue illumination under each step tread. How important is lighting on a stairwell area of a yacht? I would say nearly critical. Again, as the vessel may be moving, if it's dark, and you're navigating on a moving vessel, you definitely need to see where you're going. They're called courtesy lights, as a matter of fact. It's beautiful, and, it, and the blue hue also brings a gorgeous design detail to pick up the blue colors that are around. Yep, we have some fun with yacht design. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Coming up next, we check out one of the most popular rooms of this yacht, the Sky Lounge. Welcome back to Soplo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we're continuing our tour of this fabulous yacht with designer Dana Duquesne of Yacht Decor. Earlier, we toured the main salon, the dining salon, the galley, and the master stateroom. And now we are in one of the best spots, I think, of this floating home. In the upper deck of this yacht, we find the Sky Lounge. This is a favorite gathering space for the whole family because of its great views. For this particular family, they refer to it as the man cave. Even though it's far from cave-like because of all the windows and the natural light that comes in, it's where the guys come to hang out and watch TV and look at the beautiful views off the back of the boat. It's great views, great light, and great furnishings. So let's talk about, first of all, these sofas. This fabric is so pretty. I wanted to continue with the general color palette of the blues, the creams. Again, the direction because it was where the boys hang out, have it be durable and forgiving. Well, so, this is a nice pattern for thank that. Thank you, thank you. It's still quite comfortable and soft to the touch. Yes, absolutely. I think it's definitely a place that you can sit and stay for a while. You may have noticed that these sofas fit very specifically in their spaces. Yes. Again, it's not something that we can just go to a furniture showroom and buy sofas that will fit this space. Everything is completely customized. Customized to fit. So, so I, it was best to reupholster as opposed to make new. So I have a question. We're on a yacht. Mm -hmm. The hallways, the entryways are smaller than say an average residential home. How do you get big sofas up here? Well, good question, interesting answer. In this particular case, because the sliding doors over there open wide enough, we enlisted the help of the captain, the crew, and the crane, which typically is used to navigate the tender. So this is a lot more complex than like a basic furniture delivery in a house. It's nice when everybody helps out to, to deliver the end result that is what it is. Well, this looks gorgeous, and I, I love the wallpaper behind us. The most recent project that I've done, which goes down the stairs to the main deck, I noticed that as we were coming up, it really, yep. it, it brings a, co it's a cohesive way to really bring this room yep. together and the color palette. And I, I quite love it. 
I love it as well, and I love what you did with the carpet. It's always fun to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. In this case, I took uh, the, the field carpet and the pattern on the fabric and kind of mimicked uh, into the, to the insert, uh, the details on the insert. Yes. It's a very cool tie-in. Thank you. Now, do you also do this because I'm thinking in, in a home, you'd have area rugs sometimes. Now, area rugs on a yacht might not always be an option if you have sort of the wall-to-wall -wall type of carpeting. So is it, you know, this inset sort of almost acts as that pop? Correct, yes. And there are occasions if a vessel has wood floors or the luxury vinyl floors and we can use an area rug, we can, we do. Is that something that needs to always be kind of a fix? Double-sided tape helps. So double-sided <laughs> tape, <laughs> Velcro, <laughs> are definitely your two best friends sure. when it comes to yacht design. Dana, thank you so much for allowing us to tour this beautiful project that you designed for your clients. Thank you for being here. I, it's been so nice to work on a project and not have to be in shoes all day, being barefoot and comfortable uh -huh. in luxurious quarters. I don't think it gets much better than this. I love my job, uh, and yes, I agree. It's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful way to spend most of my time. Well, you do your job very well. We hope you enjoyed spending the day with us and touring along this fabulous yacht. And we'll see you again next week for another episode of Sofo Home Project on Local 10. If you missed any part of this home tour, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoflowHomeProject.com. You can also submit your design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, when you need more space in a condo, it's time to double up. See how joining two units to create one gives you twice the luxury.